all you cool cats, this is Mina with a new Let's Play called Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Full disclosure, I have actually already played some of this game, not all of it, and so it will not be in an entirely blind run. This doesn't mean I'm going to drop any spoilers or anything like that. I'm not that type of person, but I have actually played some of it. Some of you may have actually seen a Twitter post that I made when I finally did my first gotcha pull in the game and I posted it up with all my excitement and later found out that was a pretty incredible pull. So I plan on playing this game and until you see the blind added to the title of the game, uh, you can just assume that I've already played through this part. I won't be doing any of the voices in the mimicry that I typically do because they all have very beautiful accents and I could not hope to even come close to it and anything I attempt would just sound like mockery on my part. Um, because I've already done <laughs> some parts of this game, I'm just going to set the difficulty to easy because I kind of want to breeze through the combat and I'm not going to be including most combat encounters anyways, unless they're important boss encounters. So if this is a new let's play of mine that you're jumping into, You'll get to see kind of how I treat most of my Let's Plays. I try to keep most of the content in, but if there's any sort of downtime or backtracking or uh, not interesting combat encounters, I tend to omit them with my editing, and I hope that it keeps a pretty streamlined experience for somebody who just wants to get to the meat of the game. In case you're wondering how I feel about Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and if you should buy it yourself, I 100% recommend that you do that. It is a really good game, and if you can't buy it while it's at full price, maybe aim for it while it's on sale. In case you're wondering if I've ever beaten Xenoblade Chronicles 1, the answer is no. I got to the part where I was roughly recruiting the third character of the game, and that's about where I stopped. So if this game references Xenoblade Chronicle 1, I probably will not catch the references. And I know that there's a pause feature in this game, so I could actually pause in the between a character's dialogue, but something people know that I won't do is I just do not like interrupting a flowing conversation. I don't know why, I don't know if it's whether I think it's rude to, or if I just don't like interrupting the flow of a conversation, but you can expect me to give my thoughts on a dialogue or discuss things once a dialogue has concluded, unless it's extremely necessary for me to cut in and say something. We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. 
Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. And little business sense goes a long way. All right? Whoa! I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing this time. Rex. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. All right. Time to earn your lunch. To initiate combat, the first thing Rex needs to do is draw his, his weapon. To draw your weapon, simply press A while targeting an enemy. To display the target, just press R. You can tell which enemy you're targeting by the target marker displayed above its head. Incidentally, you can also shave your weapon if you'd rather not continue a fight. It's as simple as holding down R and pressing B. If you approach the targeted enemy with your weapon drawn, you'll execute attacks automatically. This is your standard auto attack. Got all that? Then it's time to draw your weapon and start preparing your lunch. Okay, time to take you down. Auto attacks are delivered in sets of three. The attack power increases with each blow. One, ha! two, and three. <laughs> Take a look at the icons in the lower right of the screen. When one of these activates, it means an art is ready to use. Arts are special techniques, distinct from auto attacks. The icons are laid out like the controller buttons, so just press the corresponding button to use one. After using an art, you'll have to wait until the recharge gauge surrounding the icon has refilled before you can use it again. The recharge gauge will refill as you auto attack enemies. Try pressing X now to let rip with Rex's anchor shot art. Anchor shot! Ha! See, Grumps? I'm getting better! Chapter 1 Encounters An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, the world tree. Piercing the heavens. This... This is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, Everyone in Allrest lived on the tree, together with our Divine Father, the Architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans, and we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Brazier does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right up. If that tasted like normal crab, that would be the best job in the world. I'd be out there killing crab all the time. I assume that it tastes delicious because he looks happy.
Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder... ...if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... ...Fonset Village will be gone too one day? It would not be today or tomorrow. But one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually... ...there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So... ...you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say... ...for what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium? And the Creator? Who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now... ...I wonder what he thinks. Back to making money. I think this hall should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, <laughs> I swear. Trade Guild. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Bear point? So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. Ugh, does it every time, too. No one, I'm afraid. <laughs> Figures. So rude, you should pay the man. He only wants 15. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a titan ship. adventure is about to really get going, and you can count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features you encounter. When you close this tutorial screen, you'll see Goldmouth Return Port pop up on the screen. This is letting you know you found a landmark. When you've discovered a landmark, you can return to it instantly with skip travel at any time. 
If you are defeated in battle, you will be returned to the lost landmark that you visited. All Rest has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your adventure. And just in case you ever find yourself struggling with the basic controls, press the buttons here to bring up a quick explanation of the control scheme. Uh, yes, there's battle controls, camera controls, or field controls. Woo! Alright. So, I, I really want to pay the man. Ah, Rex, you're back. Between the fee for more and grabs here and the unloading of your goods, that'll be 15G in total. Ready to pay up now? Yes, pay the poor man. Thanks a bunch. I don't know what I've done if you tried to shirk your bill. Enjoy your stay on Gold Mouth, yeah? There's no NPCs. Jeremy Bennett, super lucky person. <laughs> I don't know what. Huh? Uh, Perry Perry. Hi there. What, well, Rex? It's good to see you. Perry Perry's just whaling away time watching ships go by till cargo all loaded on board. What'd Rex say to meal together? Nice tasty samad or some such? Sorry, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Meh. Not too bad. Perry Perry thought it would be nice to make happy memories before set on long, long village. Voyage. Ah, uh, never mind Perry Perry. It's just being melodramatic. Rex, keep up doing good work with salvaging. <laughs> Hi there. Rex, my boy. This new pawn here has just arrived to do a bit of sightseeing around Argentum. I keep saying that the central exchange is inside Goldmouth, but just as you enter the ship, but he doesn't get it. Now he wants me to take him up to Lamore Inn in the third floor. I'm a salvager, not a tour guide. Look around, Nick. Huh. <laughs> Let me tell you a few things you might find useful. First up, I'll explain the regular view. Let's see what that arrow is pointing me to right now? That's the compass. The mark on the compass indicates the direction that Rex should be heading in. The digits above the mark on the compass show the distance to your destination. If Rex's destination is higher than his current position, then you'll see a little arrow above the marker. If Rex's destination is at a lower altitude than Rex's current position, then the arrow will be displayed below the mark. Next up, let's take a look at the environmental information that the arrow mark is pointing to right now. <clears throat> This will key you into info about your immediate surroundings like weather, time of day, and so on. Next, the mini-map. You can use this to get a quick grasp of Rex's surroundings. The yellow marker in the middle shows Rex's current location and the direction he's facing. Push the you <laughs> L stick in to push the L stick to switch between full screen or mini-map view. Confident adventurers might prefer to make their way through all rest without using them in a map. Lastly, we have the current objective. As you might expect, this tells you exactly what Rex is supposed to do at the present time. You can toggle its visibility with ZR, so take a look at the arrow and sure about what to do next. Right now, it's telling you to go pay a visit to Lolo at Central Exchange, so try doing that. Thanks, but I, I kind of want to talk to NPCs here. This not Central Exchange. This place for import and export paperwork of Ardanian traders. Central Exchange is around the center of the ship Goldmouth. If you want to sell salvage goods, so just talk to Malolo. Hi there. Tonadon heard that it's a good idea to move around to the side or back of enemy during battle. Now we think this info may be relevant for repairs around Goldmouth. When it's hard to hammer and nails, it should not hit from straight above, but side on. Oof, I don't want to think about all the nails you'll end up ruining. <laughs> Alright. And arrived. Let's talk to Melolo. What? That's it! It's live, Mayor! This 
steal more than I give to non friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Mor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. Two hundred now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie okay, doodles. Sending monies to Coroner Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did <laughs> same. It's cause Gramps doesn't charge rent. Eh hey, hey. All right, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure doing business. <laughs> you got a reward. Hello, Rex. For Punin. Been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, uh, no. How say? Yes. Pippi. <laughs> Been worse. So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Leptherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? Y you should go straight to boardroom of chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. The chairman? For me? He looks... he looks so thuggish. <laughs> for a... Um, what is it? No poem? <laughs> what you waited for? Chop Chop, you go see Chairman Banner now. Not bad, not bad. Wife ran out. <laughs> what? Not bad, not bad. Wife ran out on me, but apart from that, cannot complain. Pupunin's hands full with menial tasks. I mean, very important work for Chairman Bana. <laughs> Wife ran out on you? <laughs> Sorry, man. Hold up a second. Before I forget, I should probably explain how to control the camera. I know how to do that. The camera has two modes, manual and auto. Use manual mode, just use the R stick to point in the camera in whatever direction you like. If you press R while the camera's in manual mode, the camera will hone in on Rex's back and follow him around. That's what we call auto mode. You can also adjust the camera's height and zoom. Hold down L and the... I think we understand what I mean. I, I mean the L button. And move the R stick left and right to adjust camera's height. Or up and down to adjust zoom. If you experiment with different camera angles, then you might be able to spot a few things that you might otherwise have missed, so give it a try. I assume it means, like, the, um... There's, there's some treasure chests hidden around, um, this place. Like, I can't remember exactly where they are. There are more NPCs to talk to, but we'll just move along and I will talk to some of these NPCs later. We gotta get the story going so that way we have like an exciting adventure. Past here is room of Chan and Bana. Chairman very busy no pawn, so no entering on this important business. Temper of Chairman famously short. Not to disturb lightly. for accepting summons. I, Banna, chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> we hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have dincy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is... One hundred thousand gold. That's a lot of gold. A hundred thousand? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Another one hundred thousand provided upon completing job. Two hundred thousand gold in total? I, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. 
I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? <laughs> you really have skills for this? Of course. I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? How much do these ladies get paid? <laughs> Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul up. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That when Banner have stroke of genius. Should hire Rex! Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> A child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly underground. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Domark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop you it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. <laughs> you did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Grump showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. Such rowdy bunch. Meh, meh, meh. I love, I love the mess. Here is advance. Use to buy what <clears throat> gear you need. Then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. Right then. There's plenty of preparations to make, but first off, I should probably check in with Gramps. I just took off on some random ship without telling him. I'm sure he'd give me hell later when I came back. I'd better head down the stairs and back to Goldmouth's return port. You got the advance payment. Chairman Banner, explain everything, then get to work straight away. You can buy good equipment with money from Chairman Banner. Yeah. When friend ready, head to Goldmouth Exit Dock. We have an outstanding ship ready for commandeering. Alright. <clears throat> Friend, we 
see mission direct from chairman. Make sure to do a good job. But even more important than good job, make sure to come back in one piece. No dying and making family sad. <laughs> So, where... Huh. There's a look about you, the look of someone who buys a lot of things at shops. I'm an up-and-coming economist, and I'm trying to encourage people to up their consumer activity. Whether buying or selling, what matters is that money changes hands. That's what keeps the economy flowing. And if the economy thrives, so will this city. What's that mean for you, I hear you ask? Well, it means you'll be able to buy things cheaper. Wow, pretty impressive. Isn't, econ isn't economics wonderful? Left all clear, right all clear. Front all clear, good month, okay. Argentium, biggest trading port in whole of all the So be very strict on security. Wow, pretty impressive. But it gets very tiring lately. Let me, me start to give up hope that Lemui come back to relieve me of shift. <clears throat> hey, Gramps. And that about covers it. All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! <laughs> <clears throat> now that I've got Gramps' permission, just about. I'd better start making preparations for this mission. A hundred grand to spend. That sure is an exciting prospect. I could buy a whole new cutting-edge salvaging suit. But no, I can't splurge all this at once. Folks back home need this money more than I do. <clears throat> I'll hold off on making any big purchases and just head over to Shin Shinini's accessories. Always best to be prepared for anything. I might end up fighting a crust it like on my last salvage. Oh, sure, we'll set it as an active quest. You've accepted a quest! There are two types of quests. Regular quests and the ones that are part of the main story. You'll need to complete main story quests to advance the main story. The direction of the next location is shown on the compass as a pink exclamation mark icon. A word of warning here. The pink icon will not appear on the compass at the top of the screen unless you set a quest as active. Feel free to ignore this feature if you're a seasoned veteran, but rookie adventurers would do well to remember to set active quests whenever possible. Ordinary quests aren't vital for the main story. Follow the blue exclamation mark icon to get to the next destination. All this is full of people who could use a little help. You'll be able to spot them pretty easily since they'll have a blue question mark icon above their heads. If you speak to them, they'll usually come up to you about their problems or request some kind of help. These are the reg <clears throat> these are the regular quests I mentioned earlier. I'm sure you managed to solve their problems. They'll give you some kind of reward for your trouble. All right. Oh. <sighs> ah, friend Rex, good to be seeing. Hey, Shinini. You got that thing we talked about before? Ah, Rex finally saved up money to purchase! You got it, can I have a look? Let's buy one. Why Rex suddenly have so much money? Salvage some amazing treasure? I'm taking on a big job direct from the chairman. I got 100,000 G just for the advance payment. Wow, that's quite impressive! But I'll be going to uncharted water, so I wanna make sure I'm prepared. This accessory is sure to protect Rex. Shiny me guarantee. Good luck on job. Right, now that that's sorted, I've still got a fair amount of cash left. Time to send some back home to the folks at Fonset. I'd best go see Melolo at the Central Exchange again. You finally got the Abyss Vest you always wanted. It'll boost your maximum HP by 24%. 
Right now, the Abyss Vest is the only accessory you have, but you'll be sure to encounter a whole lot more during your adventure. Just remember, you'll need to equip accessories to benefit from their effects. Go to Main Menu, Characters, Character Setup, Accessories to do so. Rex back again! Did Fred forget something? No, I didn't exactly forget anything. I just decided to make a cash transfer. Rex find money on floor? No pun round here, very particular about money, so she turned in even small change. No, I didn't pick up any small change. Actually, I got my hands on a big sum. Big sum? Like 2,000 G? I'd rather not bandy the number about too much, but more like 100,000. 100,000? That's so loud. Oh, yes. Sorry, much. But where Rex get all that gold? Actually, no. No need to tell Malolo. Malolo not want to get mixed up in shady business. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Any hoodles, Rex. Malolo not able to accept such large sum here anyway. Should take directly to Courier. All monies Malolo accept here. Always delivered through Courier called Max. Oh, okay. Max. I know him. I didn't know he was also delivering the money for me all this time. Huh. Let this certainly make things quicker. Fred know where to find Max? Yeah, he'll just be through the Argentum Bazaar, right? Thanks, Malolo. Around the corner. Up. Oh, it's an Hey, Max, I'd like to transfer some money. Why, if it is a Rex, pretty rare for a client to drop off cash in person. It's a big sum this time, so Malolo said I should bring it straight to you. Quite the guy, you know. Not many people send all this money back to their folks every single month. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. So how much are we talking? I don't want to completely empty my pockets, so after leaving a little bit for myself, let's say... Can you deliver 90k to the Corina Fontet village, please? <sighs> That's quite a hefty sum. Did you haul up some huge treasure? Something like that. I took on a big job from the chairman. That sure sounds like a pie I'd like a piece of. Oh yeah, I got a delivery for you too. Good thing you dropped by, else I'd have to track you down. It's actually from the same Auntie Corinne of yours, actually. Oh, it's a braised cloud sea shark. It looks delicious. I'll have to dig into that later. Thanks, Max. Take care of that transfer for me, okay? You can count on me. <coughs> Hello there, friend Rex. Ruguri, proprietor of Whiteside Salvaging at your service. No need for introductions with me, Ruguri. I was thinking of going to check out some cylinders in a bit. How about perfect timing? Ruguri just get in brand new cylinder type. If having time, Fred want to test out? Really? You'd let me? Rex is up and coming star of Salvager World. If Rex approve of quality, he's up for Ruguri to sell. It's not every day you get the chance to test out a brand new product. I'd be glad to help. Then it's settled. Come see Ruguri on rear deck shortly then. Rururi, make preparation. Gotcha. And yes, I know I'm giving every nopon the same voice, but uh, I, I don't, I don't want to uh, try and give them all different voices. This is brand new cylinder. Please check out a nearby salvaging point and tell Rururi impressions on from using. All right then, leave it to me. Oh, I'm, I'm not good at this. Time to learn about salvaging. The icon you can see in front of Rex now is what we call a salvage point. As long as you have cylinders handy, you can go salvaging at one of these points at any time. Follow the on-screen instructions and hit the buttons at just the right time to get your hands on some treasure. Time it right and you'll get high quality treasure, but if your time is off, the value of the treasure will decrease. There are salvage points all over all rest. And the type of treasure varies from point to point, so if you find a new one, be sure to give it a try. By the way, if you're short on cylinders, you can buy them at any salvager shop. You'll find these shops all across all rest. An expensive cylinder is likely to get you better quality treasure, but even a cheap one can yield a decent haul. So use your gold as you see fit. For the moment, you'll better use the cylinder that Rui gave you and see how it goes. Go. Time for some treasure hunting. Huh. Huh. Onwards. Slightly off on that last one. Oh, I love the smell of salvage.
treasure acquired. And don't worry, I won't be showing you whenever I do these salvages because there's no need for you to watch me do all that. Looks like Frendel finished. How was New Cylinder? Let's be honest here. It was fantastic. Fantastic! That's good to hear! We really hope that other salvagers feel the same way. At any rate, thanks much for help. Also, here, give friend a present of three normal cylinders. You can use in the same place as before. Meh! Happy salvaging! If friend ever drawn out of cylinders, please drop by shop anytime. We make deal! Thank you. I guess I got a bit distracted. What was I meant to be doing again? Hmm, I guess I should stock up on food supplies. I got that phrase cloud sea shark now, but I could do with a bit more. Yeah, I'll visit Fishy Fishy on the third floor. Then I should be all set. By the way, all these other shops, they are they are not open. Um, I still remember that from the first time. I talked to every NPC in this entire place and they really kind of uh, funnel you to just doing the um, the quests here. So we gotta get out a tutorial before we can do more shopping. Welcome, friend! Now then, what should I buy? Uh, we will buy one of everything. Thanks for custom! We bought supplies and sucked up on food, so you're all ready to salvage. Right, I've got the accessory I wanted and I'm all sorted for food. I think that should just about do it. Still some time left before I have to leave, so maybe I'll rest up at the end. I could head back to Gramps to rest, but he might try to give me another lecture, so yeah, the end seems best. I have plenty of cash left, and it can't hurt to sleep in a nice comfy bed once in a while. The end should be just past the Rumble Tum Canteen. Let's get moving! Let me quickly explain about lodgings. When you take a short rest at any lodging facility like an inn, you can use any bonus XP you've earned to boost your level. Bonus XP is the experience you earn when you're completing quests or discovering landmarks. Be sure to rest at inns on occasion so you can use it. If you come up against a foe that you just can't beat, do a few quests and build up your bonus XP, then go to a lodging facility and level up. On the other hand, if you're the type that likes a challenge, you're free to never level up at lodgings at all. It can be fun to live dangerously. Anyway, you've got a big day ahead of you, so you better get some shut eye. Welcome to Lemoir Inn! Best place for all traders! I'd like to rest up for a bit. Thank very much for custom! He has rooms free! Alright, oh, the level. Yep. Yeah! I'm feeling stronger than before! <clears throat> So different from sleeping on that little head on Gramps' back. For some reason, I feel like I got a bit stronger. Anyway, better head to the meetup point. There's that gold mouth exit dock down on the ground floor, right? I guess there's still a time to look around gold mouth a bit if I want to, but I shouldn't dawdle long. No, we're not. We're not going to dawdle. <clears throat> a number of shops are now available for you to use. You'll find a whole range of different traders as you journey across all rest. Argentium Trade Guild is known as the hub of all rest commerce, so naturally you'll find a plethora of different shops here. While you're here, you should make sure you've got everything you need before you head out on your adventure. Ugh, I slept like a baby. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about something important. Rex's pouch. Rex never goes anywhere without his handy pouch. It's great for putting his favorite items inside so that he always has them close at hand. Rex's pouch isn't that big. It can just hold one handy item at a time. So what should you put in your pouch? Well, usually just sort of everyday items you'll find at lifestyle shops. Just keeping them close by can have all sorts of effects. 
They have 12 different types of lifestyle shops across Alrest, so if you encounter a new one, be sure to check it out. There's, there's plenty of quests to do here, but I really want to get us on the main story oh. as soon as possible. not where I need to go. I need to go this way. <clears throat> Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat. What are you, twelve? Wait, maybe you are twelve. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. <laughs> What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Huh? Gotcha. What, you little? Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex. <laughs> We're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. The guy has the Later. most awful looking face <laughs> ever. It looks like some clay that was just molded. <clears throat> Before you head off on your big job, I'd like to explain a little something about selling items in all rest. You may have already made use of them, but there are businesses called item trading shops that specialize in taking treasure off your hands. If you sell off items as a whole set, you'll earn a bunch more money than if you sold them off individually. So we're so when you find precious treasures, don't just sell them off at cheap at a regular shop. See if you can put together sets for trading shops and make a tidy profit. Alright. With that being said, I think this is a good place to stop for our first episode. It's basically a bunch of tutorials and laying down the story. Kind of like some of the other JRPGs I've been playing. But the next episode will be more adventure and more fun. So we're out of what I would call the big tutorial hub and we'll be diving into the real adventure in the next episode. I'll see you guys then. Bye bye!